Hey everyone, so I am here finally with a favourite. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that I just did not have time to do my April favourites and then, no, I did my April favourites. I didn't have time to do my May favourites and then all of a sudden we were into June so there was no point me even going back and doing in May so I thought, well, I will do my favourites kind of combined over the last few months. Call it my June because that's the time we're in. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few so I'm going to try and whiz through. So let's start. Right, what should we start with? Skincare. Now, I've changed up my skincare because I can never find anything that is, as I keep saying, my story, like I can never find anything that's great for my oily skin. So the products you would have seen me use in my April video, my April favorites video will be different again to now. So in the last couple of months, I've been using Clinique. Now I used this years ago and then I've just kind of, we discovered it again. So it's the Clinique Clarifying Lotion in number four, which is for oily, oily, oily skin, which is me. Um, and then I've also got the Liquid Facial Soap Oily Skin Formula. Now, I wouldn't say that these do anything for my skin, really. I think they're good for helping it keep clear. And I do like this lotion. I love the smell of it for some reason. Like I could not tell you what it smells like. It smells like alcoholy, but that's not why I like it. But there's this kind of underlying smell to it that I can't put my finger on and I love it. Anyway, but it seems good for like helping combat spots or, you know, so that's that's a good thing. So I did repurchase this. I got the bigger 400 mil and I had the smaller version. So this is my second one. Um, and this is still going strong. But you can see I've been using it. This is over the last couple of months. So... I think I'll carry on using them for a while just because they're good for cleansing my skin and I like the smell but in terms of oil I haven't noticed any control since using these but we'll carry on. Um, another skincare product, you've probably heard me talk about this a lot because I got it in one of my beauty boxes, a small size and then I bought the big size which is the Declior Vito Peel, absolutely love this. I won't go into detail because I've spoken about it before, but it's just like a gentle exfoliator. You, put, you leave on your skin for a few minutes and peel it off. So good. Love that. Your skin feels so clean after it. Um, another skin pair product is all about eyes, Rich Clinique. I've probably hauled this before. I do kind of switch up my eye creams, but I do always come back to this. I love this. You can see pretty much all out and I do have another this is the rich version but I have the normal version already waiting um I just love the texture and it feels so nice on your skin on your under your eyes nice and cooling love it I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this before but this is the um this one's from Walgreens it's the benzoyl peroxide gel so I guess any gel this is 10 percent now when I, when I feel like I'm getting a spot coming, this stuff is amazing. So you just put it on as soon as you feel one coming and it dries up. The thing is, it does dry your skin in that area. It will go really dry the more you use it. But it does combat the spot. It's, it, it, it is amazing. So I do love that. I use this all the time every time I feel a spot coming. Another product I've been using is number 7 Protect and Perfect Beauty Serum. You know, like a few years ago, there was all the hype about this serum, how it's amazing, um, anti-aging. So I'm thinking, nah, you know, I should, I'm getting more into my anti-aging routine. So I've been using this, and you can see, I'm pretty much all out. This is my second bottle. I get through it, and it is quite expensive. So it's down to there. I, when I had the three for two, I bought three. Um, and I already had one, so now I've got two more left. And it's hard though, because I guess I don't know what it's aimed at. So, I mean, I, I know that a lot of people say that they notice a difference in it. I don't, or maybe I just don't have enough wrinkles to notice it at the moment. But I'm kind of using it as a preventative. So I'm hoping it's doing something, but I'm just using it <laughs> morning and night. Next, let's go on to hair care. Something I've been using a lot is the Redkin Extreme Cat. Don't know if it's doing anything for me, but particularly in the last couple of months, I've just been using it because I bought it in America and I thought, oh, I better use it up. So I've just been spraying it on as a treatment. I love the smell of this too, but I don't know what it is. Nice. Something about it. Um, so yeah, I've just been leaving it on as a treatment. I have noticed that my hair 
has grown since my last cut um, a few weeks back. So I don't know if it's to do with this or what it's to do with, but um, yeah, I'll carry on using it. This is a protein reconstructor, so I need that, but I've just been using it a lot. Next, I probably always mention is Batiste Dry Shampoo Coconut and Exotic Tropical. Love this staple in my hair care. Would not be without Batiste. By far the best dry shampoo. And this is my favorite smell. Apart from when I was more brunette, and I do love the brunette because it's kind of cold. What is it? Like chocolatey. Love it. Another hair care that you won't be surprised is Tresemme Split Remedy, Split Mend and Protect. This is a leave in treatment. And my hair's curly. Woo! Going away. And um, you just put a little bit in and leave it in. And I've done a whole video on this if you want to know about it. But still loving it. Makes your hair feel so soft. And I do, I don't know why I haven't taken it down. I use the serum for the ends as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, still loving Tresemme. And another product that I've been using, another one that I bought in America, and I thought I'd better use, although it seems to be lasting forever because you only use a tiny bit of it, is a Chi Silk Infusion. Now, it does really make your hair feel soft. So I put that in, again, generally when my hair's curly to make it really soft. That is a good product. Um, a random it's deodorant. I love this deodorant. Imperial Leather. This is the pink one, Silk. It's just such a clean, clean smell. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before. Like I'm obsessed with deodorant and I always want to feel fresh. And most deodorants are probably you have to keep spraying, you don't have to keep spraying, but particularly if it's warm, like I keep I keep spraying it. But this lingers with you all day. It's amazing. Like well into the second half of the day at work, I'll smell this on me and I love that. So it's very clean and it does last, so I like that. Another random is Boots Nail Varnish Remover. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but it's the only one that I go to. I've tried loads of other brands of nail polish remover. This is just amazing. This is the Clean Off Nail Polish Remover. They've got lots of different versions, like acetone free and stuff. But I absolutely love this one. You can see, like, I get through it so quick. I don't know if you can see, I'm down to about there. Love the stuff. Removes. I mean, I'm sure most people think, ah, makeup movers are all the same, but this is my personal favorite. In case you were wondering, uh, let's get on to, oh, well, while we're talking about nail varnish remover, these, now I've hauled days, I got them in the States, they're the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Now, the reason why I've been loving these recently, I've got one at the mo on at the moment, where have I got them? Rose Run. I think I actually had that one last time I hauled them. The reason why I love these is because they're fast dry nail color. Oh my God, they're fast. Now, because work's been so manic lately, I've been working late and I can never be bothered to come home late at night and do my nails. I don't know why, like, I just can't be bothered to do them, leave them dry, blah, blah, blah. So, but I hate not having nail varnish on. So, these are amazing because in the morning before I run to catch the bus, I literally just whip it on. As I go out the door, two minutes down the road, get to the bus stop and they're dry. The thing is, they don't last very long. They chip, like, these are started, I don't know if you can see, chip slightly. And I only put it on yesterday. So it's not like they got lasting power. But then if it chips a little bit, I just put a little bit on the next morning. And then they dry in like two minutes. It's amazing. So, you know, if you're just running around the whole time and you want something on, but you want it to dry as you're walking somewhere or whatever, so good. So not lasting power, but dry really quick. So it'll do for the day or the next couple of days if you just want to top them up. Love them. Now, some brushes that I absolutely love the last couple of months since I bought them are my Sigma brushes I absolutely love these these are all my Kabuki brushes that are a set I ordered these from the States oh my gosh I kept hearing a lot of people talk about them online they are amazing the two that I use the most is this kind of angled Kabuki and this pointing one I use this pointing one for under eye concealing so soft blends so well under eye and I use this one for applying foundation or tinted moisturizer whatever I'm using so good I haven't used these so much I have a bit I guess a flat top is for like forehead or I don't know you could do whatever with them like they're, they're so good dense soft love them and the delivery from America was so cheap so really good Love those. Another makeup brush. I don't know if I ever talk about this one, but I use it all 
the time. So much so that the writings come off. This is my number seven blusher brush. I have not found a blusher brush that I love as much as this brush. I don't know, it's just perfect. I have two of them. Love this for blusher. And I've probably mentioned this before. It's the Gemma Kick Kabuki brush. This is what I bring with me and I do my powder with. Love this all the time. I've used that for years. Uh, now, makeup, finally. 10 minutes. Oh, I'm trying to rush, 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 rush through. Because I don't want to bore you. Right. So, makeup. So, as I was talking about my foundation, tinted moisturizer, what I've been using for the last month, I always swap and change, but I've gone back to number seven triple protection tinted moisturizer in fair. Wouldn't say that it's anything miraculous, it's just a tinted moisturizer. I like the coverage and this one triple protection. Long lasting hydration, advanced environmental protection and beautiful sheer colour. Like it is a nice colour and it's nice and moisturizing, so it probably isn't the best for my oily skin, but I want to use it up and you know it's fine. But that is just what I've been using. Um I've been using my Havana blush all the time. I've mentioned this a few times. Use that, but I have actually in the last couple of months been switching it up with MAC Well Dressed. The only problem I find is whenever I use Well Dressed, people seem to think I look pale or tired. And then when I put this on the next day, they're like, oh, you've perked up. So this is a really pale color if you just can't be bothered and you don't want much on. But then Havana, you can have lighter or build it up. So, but I have been using both of them. That's just the comments that I've noticed. So, I've also been using, when I can be bothered, again, when I'm rushing around, is my Hula Bronzer, just for contouring, cheekbones, and up here it's going to be a bit of colour. Uh, oh, I did a review on, what is it, 17 Shine Control Powder, and since that video, I don't know if I jinxed it or what, but they've stopped doing it. I just can't find it anyway. They've got other, like, matte, I don't know, shine control powders out. But they're, like, all different colours. And I don't want to try them because I absolutely love the colour of this, the one that I spoke about, because it was translucent and it was just so nice. So, since I can't find that, I still had loads of my e.l.f. translucent metaphane. As you can see, it's nearly hit pan again. So, I, you know, I always seem to go back to this. And, you know, I do love it. So... I just kind of got distracted by 17, but I'm back on Elf. This is that about 17. I always mention this. Can't see the writing anymore. My Maybelline Mineral Concealer. Love, 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 love this. Haven't found a concealer better than this. Love it. Something else I've probably mentioned in a haul, because I did buy a new one in America. It was the Benefit Pore Professional. This one, you can see it's nearly all out. But I have bought this like two years ago or something, or more than. Um, maybe when it first came out and I kind of use it from time to time and sometimes I use it as a full on um, primer and then sometimes I won't and I'll buy something else new but really lately I've been using it as a full on um, primer and I love it again so I do have another one lined up when this finishes another lipstick is my Revlon Strawberry Shortcake Lip Butter I've finished, I've like, I don't know, messed one up completely. This one's nearly finished, so I did buy another one. Love, it's a hair on right now. Just a lovely, like, day-to-day -day moisturizing lipstick and, the, like, nice pink slight for day-to-day. -day. We're using that all the time. New powder, which I do love, it's Urban Decay De Slick Mattifying Powder. And this is, you see I've hit pan in the last couple of months. It's white. And literally you run your fingers over it, but nothing comes out really, like a tiny, no, nothing. Um, so what I like about this is, because the e.l.f., it's not really heavy, but it's a bit, you know, it's heavier than this. And this is just a light dusting. So during the day, instead of, you know, I'll always, another one of my favorites, use my oil control sheet. And then I'll just dab a bit of this on. And because it's so sheer, you don't feel like you're building up too much. So this is a new staple for me. Love the packaging. So cute. So I'll be buying another one of those. 
Um, another mascara that I've been using all, I can say another, but a mascara that I've been using all month is the Max Factor False Lash Effect. I have spoken about this before, it is one of my favourites, although it's dried up really quickly. See the big brush, I'm sure a lot of people have spoken about this. But, that's what I've been using. So let's see, I've got it on right now, I don't know if you can see. Do love it, good effect. I've also been using my MAC Paint Pot in Bear Study. I've had this for a while, but I don't really use it. But it's a really nice creamy light kind of shimmery colour so I've been using that just on my eyelids just dab it on and run so as well as Vaseline and something that I've had for ages is my Skins and Abia No More Shine Makeup Finish now when I bought this I thought oh, it's just a gimmick it's crap and then I'll try it another time and then I've got no it's crap it doesn't do anything and then I started seeing YouTubers say that you should always spray it before you put your makeup on and then after and I'd only ever just sprayed it after so recently I have been spraying it before and I still can't decide if it's doing anything for the last week I've kind of felt like my makeup staying on a bit better not controlling oil though but just staying on a bit better and I can't figure out if it's this or not so I'm going to keep using it and just see I might as well use it up anyway um so yeah I'll let you know if I have figured out that it's that we'll see Anyway, I feel like I've just rushed through that, but I did have a lot of products to mention. If you'd like any more in-depth reviews on any of the products mentioned, let me know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.